which was a very odd piece because Cassidy was so affable. We don't know much about the Sundance Kid. I read about them first in the early 60s before I'd ever seen a screenplay. And I loved the story of it and I knew that I didn't want to write it as a novel, which is what I was then, because I didn't want to do all the horrible research on the West and horses and what you had to cook on the run and all that stuff. I have no interest in that. When I became a screenwriter in the middle 60s, I began to fiddle with that. It's a great story for me. The fact that they recaptured the past and became legends in South America, that was always the thing that was magical for me. I mean, if they'd stood and fought and had a bloodbath in Wyoming, we've seen that. I've never seen the other. The hardest part to make the story work was Westerns are based on confrontation. And Butch's whole life, from everything we know about him, was avoiding confrontation. I mean, the great thing about the super posse chase, which is 27 minutes in the middle of the movie, is it didn't happen. As soon as he heard that the super posse had been formed by this millionaire, Mr. Harriman, who owned the railroad, he left because he knew they'd kill him. But I sensed that the audience would hate him. So the entirety of the chase was based on trying to make the audience say, go away, because they'll kill you. You get very few stories when you write movies where you really are writing on top of your material. It was, for me, a huge reaffirmation of my sense of story.